Hello, and welcome back to Spooky Game Month. We're continuing our journey with Hellblade Sunua's Sacrifice. We're at the point where we've completed the two challenges, and we're now traveling to Helheim. We're finding more about Senua's past, and realizing there's a lot of darkness in her past, and a lot of darkness in her present, and I'm pretty sure there'll be a lot of darkness in her future. So without further ado, let's continue playing Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. So all we have to do is walk down this bridge. I'm pretty sure nothing bad will go wrong. As a matter of fact, let's run. Oh, well. So much for that. Which one is focus again? This one. There's a way to break those shields. Let's go a little faster. What shall we find inside? Every gate you open into darkness brings another chance. Hit the base. gonna swing down. She's hurt. She won't make it. Won't make it.
down. These guys. Couple risky times there. And we came in through that door. So do we go out through that one? play find the symbol again however you come to the gold covered bridge that leads to hell you may find it guarded by a giantess she will ask your name she will ask your lineage she will ask your business the Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd and is challenged by the giantess. No. 
just repair to thing of stairs just by focusing at it. So that's something new. All right. Well, let's get these things. Now let's go find where they're at. The journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Each must find their own path. Align yourself to its secrets, and you will find yours. So, no symbols over here. Looks like we're going upstairs. It's like the X is around here. See that? Well, it's about finding where the other portion is. There. That was just like, eh, close enough. even know why we're going this way. I think maybe there might be a uh, something around here. Oh, it's a face. Oh, Senua. Your father does not hate me. He just fears the souls in the underworld. He cannot see that they are already afraid. But I am their healer, and I must answer their cries for help, even if it displeases him. Well, all right. Mom was into dead play. Probably something we didn't need to learn about her. Possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife 
is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize, half black and half the color of flesh. And her face, menacing and grim. Take it that's who we're gonna be fighting next, maybe? Another bridge fight. The gate. Oh, the gate opens. Yep, meet Hella for the first time. Achievement just unlocked. Disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Get like an up. Overgrown baby crawling towards her. Get up and fight. Oh, the sword broke. Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eyes. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? world shaped by Senua's nightmares. Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You fail the gods. You're pathetic. Rot. Curse. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's cursed. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there's no one left to do that for you. Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just Do like it. your sword. Do it. Come on. There. Why go on, when you give everything and face that which torments you, only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined? Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling. Song. It's not real. It's true. It has to be real. This is it. You don't give up. Did it? Is it real? It's not real. Like this. It's not real. It's your book. It's a trick. Don't trust it. Maybe you're already dead. Who are you? You still believe in yourself. 
This is where Christianity takes over Viking lore. She's going towards Jesus. Kind of run. Can I go off anywhere else? Is there a hidden rune or a face I can interact with? Doesn't really look like it. I can't climb over these little things. supposed to like keep up with them before she first met him she was not in a good place just a teenager but Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father Zinbel made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney plains. That was her world, like this one, barren and lonely. of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants him, but Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. and we have to go up there. Can't get in there. Uh. 
death for Sigmund and his brother seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. I guess you won't. Not even gonna tell us. Nothing. No symbols. There's just the tree. So I guess we do have to go out to that tree. Can we get to it? How do we get to it? There's a ladder there, too. Just exploring, looking for room posts. Like this one here. We have to know what happens with the honey. The sweet honey from Sigmund's face. He bites the wolf's tongue. The she wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead. As his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure. birth to a son named Sinfjotli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy and finds him strong and fearless, and so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. Luck is not on their side. Their 
are captured, and Sigir has them buried alive. Flashbang. What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not... I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I... I watched you. And... You... Learned all of that from watching me. <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who's supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. Senua knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide, and don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! Back to that. Maybe it's a sign of the What's he trying to tell you? He's waiting for you by the tree. Yep, another one. We get to come back for that one too. This one... I don't think so. As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, 
Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hall. The king burns to death. Sigmund calls to his sister to come out so that she may live and be honored. She does come out, but only to tell him the truth. That she had slept with him, her brother, to beget a strong avenger. I am not fit to live, she says, and walks back into the fire. Strike vengeance from your heart, Senua, as there is always a heavy price to pay. All right, that was a weird one. And there's still one more left. Okay, that story's not over. And here is the end of Sigmund's story. He was a fierce and great warrior who fought many battles. But one day, an old man came onto the battlefield. Although shadowed by a hood, Sigmund saw that he only had one eye. The man raised his spear, and Sigmund struck at it with his sword, but the sword shattered into pieces. Sigmund then knew that this was Odin, and thus that victory could not be his. He bowed his head and accepted his end. Dying, he tells his wife that she is with child, and that her son will one day make a great weapon out of the fragments of his sword. The sword named. Gram. Isn't that what we're gonna find here? Gonna find it, Gram. King in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. 
It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer for it. But when it comes, and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. So that sword we're trying to get is a ancestral sword. <laughs> Not ancestral. It's still pretty dark. Dillian, I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? Light that thing on fire. There he is. There he is. Dillian, there he is. Finally, you found him. What's wrong? What happened? Can you hear me? Just wait there. I'll find you. Doesn't open. This one probably doesn't open either. I didn't think so. Maybe now I can light that thing. There it goes. Doesn't look like it changed anything. It's still blocked. Climb out. You have to backtrack then. Go another way. I'll find him. It's another. Remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. It's getting louder. Listen, Dillian. <gasps> listen, listen, listen. It's him. Listen. It's getting louder. There he is. Keep going. Send one follow the voice. 
you're nearly there. to Mr. Roan. Let's go back. I like those ruin stories. Hey, there's a sword. Could always just take that one. Huh, oh, maybe not. So I'm going to go this way. Oh, that one's lit too. But this way is not... Another sword. It's two swords there. And down that way. His sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. Uh, Alright, that's closed. Is this one closed then too? If so... <gasps> this one was also closed. Could just take those swords. Find another way. It's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. Find another Think. way. Think. 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 Focus. Think. Use your mind. Where's the point? You've disappeared. You've got to slip through your fingers once again. Think. Think clearly. You have to find, find another way. There has way. to be another way. Is this the same room that we? just came from looks like it
is different. Happen to be another one of those things around here. Oh. Hope I didn't miss it. the labyrinth shard challenge I probably missed that last one See the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. Chief, no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come, send one. You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Alright, looks like we completed one of them. It's done. You did it, but there's more. Two more to go. There's more. However, it's been almost an hour now since we started playing this. I'm very intrigued by the story and I want to keep going. But I, uh, at least these videos, you know, not all the time. 
they have to come out for this one three times a week. So, in the next video, maybe we'll finish the next two, or maybe we'll finish just one. But we'll make progress on this game. I would be very happy if we actually finish this game before November. I may just wind up putting it into rotation if we don't. I feel like we're so close to beating this game, and I think back on the games that I've played on this channel and how many of them I've actually beaten. And if you count the dot .hack games in separate discs, because they are separate games, even though they're a part of one whole big story, then probably just those three. I don't recall ever actually going through and beating all the other games. We didn't beat Rain World. It's another one. Sung Wong Kong's uh, Black Myth Wukong. We didn't beat that. Gundam Breaker 4. We haven't beaten that. So yeah. Completing games. At least getting past the story mode. Would be great. Anyways. That's going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next spooky game. Goodbye.